Hi everyone. Hey, today Evan's here to help. We're going to show you the proper way to load a horse. A lot of you want to stop and check on the horse. You have to be in charge. The horse wants to follow you. It needs a herd leader. So we're going to try and demonstrate with dude here. We'll see how it goes, but you'll get the idea. And this is, this will be the proper way to load. Evan. All right. Ready, dude? Get in the trailer, buddy. Come on. Up, up, up. Up, up. Okay, so a lot of you will stop. A lot of you try to stop at the top. And that causes the horse to have to stop. And then you have to get the horse moving again. That's not the right way to do it. Now Evan's going to demonstrate the right way to do it. He's going to circle around now. He's going to walk straight into this trailer, not look back at the horse, and that horse will follow him right in. Here we go, buddy. Let's go. Up, up, up. Come on. Okay. So that's what you need to do. Anytime you stop that forward progress, trying to make it go again can be very hard, especially with an animal you don't know. So be assertive, be in charge, be confident. Okay, now we're gonna show you a least amount of pressure you need to load the horse that doesn't wanna go in. I will straighten the horse up to the trailer. He will stall. Evan's gonna come behind him. He's gonna stay far enough behind that he doesn't get kicked. He's gonna take a step off to one side so the horse, no matter where his head is, will see him. Evan's just gonna cluck, kiss, wave his arms a little bit, and the horse should just should walk in. Most horses will load this way when they're being stalled because they, they've been hauled, they know better. So this should be your, your easiest technique with two people. Go, dude! Up, 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 up! Come on, dude! Go! Hey. So this horse with a lead rope, with just his lead, we have a whip for tapping him. I use the word tap. What we're gonna, what you're gonna do is, you guys, most of you have done that. You're gonna bring him around. Always line him up to your trailer straight. Tap him if you want to go in. There you go. You can use the whip to control your horse inside the trailer. So we want him to stay, we're going to use the whip just, just as a blocker, okay? We're going to pull him out and we're going to show you another recipe here. Okay, so now we're going to use a lunge line, okay? So you do this two ways. If you're by yourself, you can do this. But in a team, I'm going to give Evan this. Evan's going to go into the trailer. He's going to wrap it around one post. taking this off. You would probably leave this on if you need to tie it. Now this method also, if you have a horse you're afraid to get in with the trailer, this is a great method. You would take take the rope and you would put it down a few more posts so you know you can get them farther in. So in this case, I'm going to grab this. We're going to give Evan the whip. Evan's just going to tap him to get in. And you pull with this. Now you have control of this horse wrapped around something. You don't have to get in. If we need to, Evan can bring the gate. And we can run him loose if that's what we need to do. You have to make sure you're comfortable if you can go in and tie with him. Maybe you should start damping him. Okay. Okay. We're now going to show you how to use the butt rope properly. Again, we're using dude. We know that he won't kick. We know we're, we're using safety so you can see where these ropes go and how to use them. So if you have to go do a butt rope, that means you're getting to the last 
of your resources to try and get this horse into the trailer. Okay, so I would come across, I would probably stay away from the horse, not knowing the horse. I would give Evan his tail, come out wide. What you want to be is at least, you can even be farther if you see how long this is, at least an arm's length away, and you want to be anywhere from 12 to 18 inches in front of these back legs. Why we're out, and you could be out even farther, is some horses can cow kick. You do not want to be up front and get cow kicked either. It just, hurts just as much as being behind them. So very important to be out of that striking zone. Okay, we're going to place the rope. We'll use the outside of the tail. He's going to come above the hawks, kind of in the Gaskin area, just below the Gaskin area here, below the rump, right into this groove. Okay, we're going to stand up this way. You'll pull, you're going to kind of pull up a little bit too, forward and just up a tad. You want to get that horse to move forward. You're standing in this position because remember, on an animal, especially a flight animal, to move them forward, you must be behind them. If you get up on the shoulder, you're going to want, they're going to want to turn on the front end. So the idea is to be right here. You take it, you start applying pressure, pulling him forward. As he moves, you must move too. And you're going to have him facing in the trailer when you're doing this. Again, the long line coming through one of these. Huge help when you're doing this. Um, Three people are very is usually what you're going to need. Somebody's going to need to have a head, the head control the head, uh, whether it's on a regular lead line and they can get in the trailer with them, or a long line because you're not sure how this horse is going to react from what you've seen. So this is what you want. Remember, butt rope comes in above the hocks, below the rump. You're standing at least an arm's length. And I don't mean flat head, I mean fingertips. You're least that, and if you want to be more, I encourage it. You want to be in front of those hind legs, probably, like I said, a foot, but probably more to 18 inches. And then you, you're going to pull this horse up into the front. Okay? Now, with this said, remember, all these things we're showing you. Do you start with the minimal amount of pressure? You add pressure each time. These horses, they're not delicate, okay? They have a tolerance of pain that you and me don't understand. You can apply pressure. If that's what it takes to get them in, that's what you do. When you get to a certain point, you don't want, you don't want to pass that fine line, okay? We don't want to abuse the horse. We just want his attention and get him in. If that doesn't work, then you need to find a shelter in place.